Here's the cool thing about raising goats. You don't technically need a, um, a camera in your barn. Baby monitors work fine because they tend to be quiet right up until birthing. So if you start noticing that your goat's noisy and then you hear little kid sounds, it means you have a baby and go out and check. Otherwise, sit back and relax. And these are the sounds that you're listening for. Babies. <laughs> Here's a fresh one. You gonna have two or is you just giving up on one? I did was help her dry her off a little bit. It's actually warm today, so I don't have to worry about too much. She's doing good. I don't know if she's got a second one in her, but we'll give her some time. <laughs> Meanwhile, yesterday's kids are big and bouncy. Hello. I'm always amazed at how fast they can find the milk bar. Still in the sack, though. Can I stand up? <laughs> I want out of the sack. Come on. I gotta break the sack. It's still in the sack. Come on, stand up. Number two. Nice big one. She's doing her job. Cleaning them off. Good job, Mama. Oh my god, I think she's having triplets. <laughs> Holy crap, you're having triplets. That's a lot of babies. No wonder why you were underweight, Mama. Yeah. Alright, let me go get another uh, a towel. Should I get the one away? Because you're about to give birth on your other kid. That's a lot of babies. She had three kids. Little brown one. I don't know. Can we see what she had? Can't tell. All right. Brown one's a girl. Two black ones are boys. Good job, Mama. Good job, Mama. Three kids. There's one of your babies, and he's sleeping in the bucket. Sometimes you get kids that are just not doing great, and they're cold. So a hair dryer on low, a bucket, and a blanket will help. When I get some babies that need some help, I milk mom out for some colostrum. Colostrum should be that beautiful yellow color. And then baby hair. This one needed a little help. Hopefully she pulls through. I've had to tube feed her twice now. I helped her stand up with assistance and she's been up for about four minutes. So fingers crossed she makes it because she's really cute. You being a good mama? There you go, baby. <laughs> Clean her out up because she's sticky. Oh, she fell down. This is me attempting to go to a seminar. 
for agriculture and women, but instead I have a goat that I didn't think was pregnant in labor and gave birth and another one that's sick and a bottle baby. So yay, it's so much fun to be Thursday. clean rebedded move these guys over here I'm gonna clean out the other stall now so this group of five hopefully we'll get to play and I'll bring them over some more toys to jump around on cleaned out the goat pen. This is where the triplets were and my extra one that I had. So here's the plan. I am going to free these guys into the stall, but for me to do that, I need to make sure they can't fly out. <laughs> so off to tractor supply we go to get some uh, netting to put up over here. And then this is gonna become, I guess the Keat stall and we'll raise them up here. So maybe they'll be comfortable coming back to the barn at night and not get eaten. Found a uh, 14 by 14 bird net. I got an 11 by 11 stall. So got some twine over here and we're gonna see about stringing it up top so the birds can't fly up and out of this stall. So here's the mafia. They still have a heat lamp, pretty well feathered. Hi kiddos, I know. But the top's off. They got thing over here. And I do. I have it all netted down so they can't get out if they fly and do something stupid. And same thing. It's all netted. I have to duck to get in and out. They still can fit through these, so I am like blocking it off with some uh, wire for the moment until they are too big to squeeze out. But... That is their new home for them to explore and dig around in. Hi guys. Filling up the water. So off me. Get some treats for all the ladies. There's one crawling on me over here. I'm going to ignore her. And the fact that you got down. No. You have a cookie. The earlings have not figured out cookies yet. Just gotta keep an eye on the waters. Hi, would you like a cookie? No? Okay, guys, last last round. I hear the I hear the water needs to be turned off. Bye. A week recap here. Um, it was kidding season, so all the kids are on the ground. We had whew, technically 15 total. One did die. 14 is our final cow. Out of that 14, only one turned out to be a bottle baby. Yay! Um, in that week's time, we've gone from winter to spring to summer to winter to summer to spring to summer to summer to back to winter. And uh, everybody is doing well. And now we're on to just what are the farm plans to go forward so we can actually think summer.